Hello and welcome to day 27. It's the 22nd of June. We've missed the heat wave uh, and it's the day after. So we're a little bit annoyed that we haven't <laughs> got the nice weather. Today we are hopefully going to finally get our two bits of furniture installed into the van. Uh, we've already fitted the bed, but we're going to show you how we've already done that. Yeah, that's pretty straightforward. <laughs> There's a monster underneath the bed. <laughs> the monster knows how to use a drill. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> These might be a tad more tricky. We've had to buy different screws, different like uh, what they call spreader plates to try and make sure they're securely attached inside the van to the floor and to the walls um, and not just rely on the ply hopefully. I've made the curtain for the bottom so I'll show you that and fit it as well. Hopefully it fits because I haven't actually tried it yet so that'll be great. So in theory today should be quite exciting if we can get these two bits of furniture secured to the wall um, then the van is 70% of the way there maybe. I'm so excited I can't tell you how excited I am to put stuff in cupboards. Mm. I've never been so excited in my life before. So what we're planning on doing Cutting this to size, gluing and screwing it in, and then this angle bracket, because this is very thin, really, you can't get much. What's the word that you use? Purchase. Purchase, yeah, I was just about to say that. Uh, so strengthening that just to make sure it really is a good, safe fit. Safety is important. If, you, uh, if you're in doubt that you've got the right tool, just raid the kitchen. What, the playhouse kitchen? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is, uh, reminds me of my favourite sandwich. Mayonnaise on brown bread. <laughs> you make a lovely job of that. <laughs> <laughs> that enough? Looks lovely, yeah. Next up, our angle brackets. We're now going to place these onto our newly um, strengthened sides of our cupboard. Can you use probably about two or three screws? I don't know, can you see how many holes are in that? So this is going to be screwed onto the bottom of the cupboard and it's going to disperse the force, the stress and the weight through multiple holes. Can you see that? So as you can see, we are clamped and in position. And next is the screwing. Scene five, take one. Ow! <laughs> I'm quite happy with the way the design has gone for this with our copper pipes. So, we're going to thread it up. We'll be using large elastic bands to secure it, to make it tight, to hold it together. But we've got to fit it before we screw it all in, basically. So here we go. This one first. Making sure the map's the right way around. The other one. This is the same oil cloth we used for the door store. I'm just going to gather them up in the middle. We need them to be out of the way. Are you sure they're right? They don't particularly match. What do you mean match? What do you mean match? You go the wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If you want to make these cushions, you treat yourself! I think I'm bloody well should have. Oh, behave. What do you, I thought you meant lengthwise they don't no, match. I was like, you are winding me up. I'm sorry. Right, we'll leave these for a minute. We'll show you how we fit them next. Pull it, pull it in, Cal. 
Pega uno. Yet another fantastic curtain creation made by me. <laughs> Don't need to open it more. Bloody lovely. Ta da! So here is pretty much the finished project of our, what was it? Dima Van Pallet Wood. Personalised. <laughs> what happy? was our word for it? Bespoke. 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 I'm happy with it. The only thing I like it more, and that's just really nitpicky. But that colour matched that colour more. Mm. But then that's because I'm an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> so we are about to tackle the actual installation of it now, I think. Yep. This has been the most annoying thing, getting this in and out and leaving it places. And fell over once when it wasn't secured in and it's just been a nightmare. Got scuff back three paints. Oh, so angry. Just looking forward to getting this in and not having to worry about them anymore. So and also the van's pretty much semi ready to go if we just want to jump in it. If we've got a couple of days and we've got stuff in it, then we're good to go, hopefully. Now it's screwing time <laughs> And right then, so now we're in. This is in. We've made sure that they're in the positions that they're going to stay in for life. We don't want to screw if they're not in the right places. So as you can see, our brackets are in, screwed and glued, and we've got our L-shaped brackets with multiple screw holes. That's going to spread the weight and the stress and the pressure of it all. So now it's ready to screw. Are you happy with where they are? Yes. We've done our checks, the door opens, <laughs> got enough room to fit the guitar down the corner. High five, let's do this. Oh, look, I'm get it in. I can't wait to show you at home all my pots and pans were there and I was so excited I could cry. Ow! <laughs> right. It's Rupert's turn to get screwed. Yeah, how are you feeling about this one now? Uh, the question is, how are you feeling about this one now? The question, the answer is, <laughs> very good. I put the curtain straight, hang on. Oh, lovely. Why oh, do I think you're lying when you Yes! <laughs> you have to get used to working in tight spaces in a van, don't you? <laughs> how was that? <laughs> Awkward. Looks great, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Mrs. Slug. <laughs> so this is now... Ready for stuff! <laughs> Joined us for a wee expedition to make sure none of the furniture's moving. My butt's moving on this seat, I can tell you that for sure. It's very strange driving here, looking back and seeing the lights on. Cops <laughs> driving. Uh, this is a private road. <laughs> Just checking for creaks, checking for door openings, checking for wobblage. But you can't tell because I'm wobbling like jelly on a plate. Yeah! Another day successfully finished. Today didn't have the best of starts. I think um, it was a little bit daunting doing this. It's something I've been thinking about for a while and I don't think I was really sure how we were going to do it. There's been no how-tos no. because no one's got furniture like us. So we're really happy with the way it's turned out. We've done a bit of a check. Mm. I've put a few bits in it already. Yeah, we've got a few knickknacks already. So yeah, we've uh, kind of gone over that little bit of a mountain at the moment, I think. What we're going to do is take a rest for a couple of weeks. We've got a bit of living to do, a bit of other stuff we Normal can. Normal life stuff, not yeah. bad life. Unfortunately, we can't get the time that we'd like. And also, you, you kind of burn yourself out after a while, I think, doing this. It's um, good to have a bit of a brain break from it. And when we come back to it, it'll be fresh again, and we'll be ready to push on. 
for the last few bits and bobs. Um, we're also kind of toying with the idea of changing the van to a camper van motorhome on the V5C document. We're still doing a lot of research regarding this. Um, there's certain things, criteria, boxes that you have to tick and provide evidence that you've had them fitted uh, professionally. So Not all the time. Not, not all the time, but then it's so murky, the water that surrounds it. It never is straightforward. What the f*** are you laughing at? <laughs> I've never heard you say anything like that before. <laughs> it's so murky. The main thing, we, luckily we've built the bed the right size, you need to have a two two burner gas hob which we'll have yep. the only thing you need is that you need a window in the living area um, which we weren't going to do because we wanted to be quite stealthy and not be too obviously a camper mm. but we're still toying with the idea um, we don't quite know do we yet no. still lots of research it's, it's some sometimes it helps with insurance sometimes it helps with getting on to the ferries for cheaper some some campsites in Europe don't allow uh, vans to go on it full mm. stop unless it's registered so even though you've got it kitted out like we have, if you've not got a window in, they won't let you on. Mm. So Speed restrictions yeah. on a commercial van. Tax. But, but that can all come later on. Yeah. It's so not, I'm just verbally telling you. But we're sort of like keeping that in mind with the build. Yeah. We've also, a little snapshot into the future, we might be doing a bit of a food channel. Mm. Um, my day job is a chef and I really like cooking outdoors and providing you with hearty meals. So, um, Get ready for a promo video that we shot the other day um, and then we've actually got to think of recipes to cook and show you how to do and make sure I get every single fact that I state correct. <laughs> yeah, because the van's been a lot of guesswork. Yeah, and uh, never take what we say as truthful. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for today. Happy, we're gonna drive yeah, home. I'm tired. I can put some more stuff in here. It's gone quick today. Mm. We didn't get up very early either. So, mm. if you've liked anything that you've seen today, like us, subscribe to us, and stay tuned for more videos. Yeah, follow our social. Um, <coughs> feel free to follow our social media accounts as well. We update those um, semi regularly. It's quite hard though at the moment, it isn't it? Yeah, we just do boring stuff and just I drive know. it to a shop. Yeah, I know. But, but when interesting things happen, you'll want to know about it. Won't yeah. So. What else we've got to say? What else? It, just by, I think. Um, yeah, so we'll see you in the not too distant future, hopefully. Um, and I'm, I'm really hoping that we have no reports of oh, we went around the corner and everything fell out and smashed out the cupboards and the doors fell off and we have to rebuild it. <sighs> On that note, <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>